Welcome. In this video, we're going to explore y equals sine x. Namely, we're going to explore the area under y equals sine x from 0 to pi, and also the arc length on the same interval. As always, let's begin with a sketch. Here you'll see the graph of y equals sine x sketched from 0 to pi. And now first, let's find the area under this curve. That is this region right here. And to do so, we need to set up an integral. So the area under this curve is the integral from 0 to pi of sine x dx. Evaluating, we get negative cosine of x evaluated from 0 to pi. This is just negative cosine of pi minus cosine of 0. So negative negative 1 plus 1, and that equals 2. So this yellow highlighted region is 2 square units. Well, that was fairly straightforward. Let's look at it the arc length now, that is this red arc, what is the length of that red arc? As you can see, I rearranged the screen a little bit just to leave us some space. And now let's go ahead and set up the integral for arc length by reviewing what it is first. As you can see, I rearranged the screen a little bit just for some additional space. And now recall, arc length is equal to the integral from a to b of one plus the first derivative of our function squared all inside of a square root here. And in this case, it's with respect to x. So our function here has a first derivative of cosine x. So we can rewrite this arc length formula here using this cosine of x. So the arc length is equal to the integral from 0 to pi of the square root of 1 plus cosine squared x dx. This one was not one we can actually solve using any uh, methods that we have, but using technology, we get that this is about 3.8202.